Welcome to another episode of the Happy Console Gamer. I'm your host, Johnny Millennium, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing my Street Fighter tales. So here we go. extraordinary is I first walked into an arcade and played this game 19 years ago. Now that makes me feel a little older but this game at the time there was nothing like it. It was incredible and going to the arcade was a huge experience back then. I'd meet all my friends there, we'd all meet up and play Street Fighter. We'd be there all day. I spent every bit of allowance money I had during the week playing Street Fighter 2. And we always used to dream, like, imagine being able to own the machine at home. It was a pipe dream, that was going to happen, but, you know, the, the closest I came back then was playing uh, Street Fighter 1, it was called Fighting Street, on the Turbo CD. That was the closest I got to playing Street Fighter at home at that time. Now, three years after the game came out, a friend of mine, you may know him, Rob Man, used to work with a guy uh, who, you know, delivered and put the Street Fighter machines in all the 7-Elevens. And this guy had a ton load of machines. And he was selling them all. So Rob Man phoned me up and said, hey, you know, this guy is selling all of his old arcade machines in his garage, you gotta come over here. So I did, you know, and back then I didn't have a lot of money, right? So I had like a little bit of money on me, not much. I end up at this guy's house, I met Rob there, and we walk in to his, you know, he had a double uh, garage, and it was full of arcade machines. And it's the stuff of, of legend now with me and Rob, man. That, but it was true. There were so many arcade games. There was every single arcade game there. In the sense that this guy had like five Neo Geo cabinets, you know. Uh, he had eight Street Fighter machines. Uh, you know, Alien vs. Predator. All the old classics. All the tabletop games. Everything. I mean, like, I walked in and I was like, this is a huge arcade. So the next step was finding a machine that I wanted and obviously I wanted Street Fighter 2. It was the number one arcade machine I dreamed of having as a kid. So I walked up and I walked through all, you know, down the lot and I found one, this machine here. And it had the nicest display, you know. I like to have this, you know, the artwork on here, had the artwork on here. Uh, the buttons light up, you can't see uh, in the video here. But it all lit up. It was it was a mint machine. It was beautiful. We cleaned this up. The guy even delivered it to my house. You know how much money I paid? You're going to die when I tell you. It was fifty dollars. I'm not kidding you. He was selling all of his arcade machines for like fifty fifty dollars to seventy five dollars, depending on their condition. And. I wish, God, I mean Rob Man talk about it, we wish we could go back in time with the money that we have now and buy like five or six machines. But sadly, just after that, he sold them all, so that's the stuff of legends right there. Now, the funniest, I have the funniest stories about playing Street Fighter. The strangest things have happened to me when I was a younger guy. Let's go back for a second. I went on a vacation with my parents to Reno, and uh, I was 19 years old. And I just just before I got this machine, and I couldn't gamble because you gotta be 21, obviously, in the states to gamble. So I didn't have anything to do. My, I, my we'd get up in the morning. My parents would go gambling, you know, for the day, and I would be like, okay, what am I gonna do? So one morning I got up, and I walked down the hall, and there was a little arcade room. That was basically it. And so I walked down there, and there's you know one guy playing Street Fighter. That was it. So I'm like, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play some little Street Fighter. So I walk up to the machine. I put my I'm about to put my quarter in, and the guy pulls out a knife on me. I'm not kidding you. He pulls out a knife, you know, points it at me, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, if you put in that quarter, you know, I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna stab you." And he's like, right here, he's right, right to my stomach. 
And it was amazing what I said to him. It's one of those, you know some, some moments happen in your life where you wish you said some things? And you, like, you think about after you're like, oh, I wish I said this. Well, I said it right the minute. I totally bluffed the guy. I said, you know, I said, I said, you only got one chance. I said, before I hit you to the floor. But I did it much more convincing than that. And he's like, oh, okay. And I kind of like played his bluff. He puts his knife away. And I put it in my quarter and I kicked his freaking ass. I kicked the guy's ass like no problem, two rounds. I didn't even give him a second round. There was no way. And then I beat him again. This guy was, it was easy. Funny thing is, he's, he's afterwards, he's like, he's like, hey man, he's like, well, why don't you come out, you know, hang out on the strip with me tonight, on the Reno Strip, you know? He's like, you like women, right? He goes, I can hook you up. And I'm like, yeah, it's okay, I got some things to do. And I thought to myself, God, if I went out that day, I would have got killed. I would have got murdered by him and his gang buddies or whatever. So, uh, I'm glad I didn't go out that night. Now, maybe it's almost a rant of what has happened to me in some arcades over the years. There was another great one. But this isn't to do with Street Fighter, it was actually to do with Samurai Showdown when that first came out. I was in Hawaii with my parents, I think I was about, I just turned 20. And they took me there, real nice parents. And they went off for the night and I took off doing my own thing and I walked down to this arcade in the middle of nowhere. Maybe that was my problem to begin with. And I get there and I see Samurai Showdown and the game was amazing, I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy, what is this? It's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game but with swords, so it totally got my attention. So I'm putting my quarters in and I'm playing the game in my own world. I'm not even paying attention to what's going on, obviously. And then, I just kind of like stop and I look around and I'm like, man, what's going on here? And the place all of a sudden was filled up, like where I was at, was filled up with, you know, all these little gangster guys and they're all short little bastards. And they all had like netting in their hair and all this. And, but there was a lot of them. There was like 15 to 20 guys. and. I see them and they start to mug, these real tough guys, mugging little kids, you know, going, hey man, give me your quarters, give me your quarters. And I'm standing there, I'm like, you know, I think it should probably be getting going right about now. And just as I'm about to leave, all these guys surround me. And I'm like, I like totally, I'm totally surrounded, I'm like, yeah, and I look around, I'm like, guys there, guys there, I'm like, holy crap, I'm like, this is, this is going to be some fun. So, um... All I did was, it was funny, they're like, yeah, man, you just got off the plane, you're a tourist, eh, yeah? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, sure. What, you know, what, what do you want? You know, like, what, 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 what do you, you know, seriously. And they're like, yeah, man, motherfucker, you know, I could beat you the hell out of you. And I'm looking at this guy, I'm like, I could kick the crap out of you. But it's the other 19 friends that I'm worried about. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you probably could. Um, and I'm talking as I'm walking backwards, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're you know, pretty tough guys, all that, yeah, don't want to be messing around with you guys. And I backed out and I got the heck out of there. And I kept walking and I made it to the escalator. And there was a security guard at the bottom and then I guess they looked, saw him and were like, oh, you know, we're, we're too tough, you know, too, too tough to deal with him. I gotta say, I miss the old arcade days. Uh, going into an arcade and almost getting stabbed or whatever. Nah, it wasn't that bad. Those are a few hilarious things that happened to me. Uh, they become the, st the stuff of legends uh, for some of my stories. I, I, I actually enjoy talking about them because they were, they were quite funny, actually. You gotta laugh at some of these people uh, and the crap. And, and you know what? None of them were any good at playing Street Fighter. Jeez. You know, if you're gonna threaten somebody, at least be good at Street Fighter first. So, anyways, guys, just some funny stories I wanted to share. And I want to tell you a little bit more in the backstory of this bad boy here. So, anyways, guys, until next time.